You my only hope. What am I gonna do? John G T V. Oh wee. Yeah. Welcome back to Gear Chat. Yeah. Welcome back to Gear Chat University. Every you and you every I tune in you welcome back to gear chat All right, calm that down, John G. Calm that down, John G. Calm that down. Today, let's get into it. You see it. Let's get straight to the shenanigans, man. Let's get straight to the shenanigans. The model, the modal, model, modal, whatever, electronics, craft, synth, 2.0. The mono synth, one forty nine, very affordable. Yeah, one forty nine. Listen, man, for one forty nine, just go ahead and just, just go ahead and calm that down. All right, for one forty nine, check this out. Check out what you get for one forty nine. Just to give you a taste of like the variations of sonics that it can make. And so I think it's um, sonically has a, 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 a very powerful scope in terms of what it can do. Now, let's get to some specs just to be, you know, a little nerdy or whatever. Uh, uh, what is it I see on here? Uh, what we got? So it's eight oscillators. Two selectable waveforms, uh, 40 unique um, wave shapes available. What else we got? Uh, choose one of 18. I'm sorry, is it 18 or 16? Hold on, let me put my glasses on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, class. All right, choose one of 16 oscillators, you know what I'm saying, modifiers, you know what I'm saying, ranging from FM, shank, ring, mod, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, bit crusher, wave folding, and more. So basically, I think what's given the power is the fact that you got to choose, uh, you know, the, the, the eight oscillators, uh, being able to um, manipulate that uh, two-pole resonant uh, morphing filter. I like that. Delay and distortion effects built in. Eight slot uh, modulation matrix. So now you can, you know what I'm saying, get, get your modulation on weavilization, you know. So yeah, um, for 149, I think that's, man, that's like, Wow, that's and and 
uh, from what I'm seeing on the on the demo here, um, it has a um, USB, so where you can hook, hook, hook it up to a computer and see an editor to even see more information. So, and I imagine you can save patches and all of that kind of stuff that way as well. For one forty nine, this is like wow. It's almost like how do you not get it? And it's compact. I mean, I don't know the the actual specs, but it's you know, I don't know. It's like a cell phone and maybe a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like it's really compact. And so you basically how they got it here hooked up to a, you know a controller of hooked up to a controller and rocking out like that. It seems to have aftertouch from what I was seeing. Um, yeah, so check that out. Perfect uh, Circuit got that right now. 149. Uh, is it in stock? In stock. You can go get it right now. Um, again, 149. That's very, very affordable. And Sonically has got a nice palette. So check that out. The other thing I want to talk about last week, um, I saw the uh, SP2400 is now available for pre order. And so um, it's finally here. Like, you know, it was a concept for a while, this remake. And so I don't know. I mean, it's uh, interesting. I I would obviously like to have, you know, get my hands on it like everything else. But it would be cool to, to kind of check out what it was like to have yesteryear's, uh, you know, tech with modern technology. You know what I mean? Um because I never used that machine, the original, so I have no idea what it's about. You know, that, I wasn't uh, in the beat making at that time, so when it was out, I, it just wasn't, you know, I never saw it. So um, by, by the time I came into the game, uh, the MPC 2000 XL was like, that was the thing. And I remember seeing the ASR uh, 10, they had a, a groove box that I was eyeing. And by the time I actually got some money and got into the to the actual gear buying game, that's when I got my Electribe. So, but whatever. So I never saw that machine, but I think it was, you know, obviously cool and has a, a nostalgic um, feel to it, you know. So all of, the, all of the producers of yesteryear could definitely gravitate to it. Um, and even the new people can, you know, see what it was like to see to see what it was like to make, you know, beats um, back in the time. But I, I like the fact that it's modernized, though. So it's 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 a remake, but it's gonna have some modern features on it. And I like to see actually my Electribe um, ESX. I would like to see it made over again with, you know, instead of this SD card, the old Smart Media card, instead of having to use that being able to use this USB, you know, or a thumb drive even. So that would be great if uh, they would, if, if Korg would do that. But yeah, so whatever, uh, we'll check that out. Um, the SP2400 uh, is available for pre-order. I did see that again. So go ahead and uh, get in line on that if you're interested in checking that out. I believe it's going firsthand from, I forgot the name of the company. Don't get mad at me. You can always Google that. You can always Google that. I sound like a t-shirt. You can always Google that. Been watching uh, a lot of Joe Rogan lately. It's very interesting stuff going on over there. And uh, yeah, John G, John G TV, Gear Chat University. Ain't got a whole lot today. Ain't really a whole lot to talk about. I really wanted to talk about this craft since I thought it, for 149, that's a deal. And I forgot to talk about the SP2400 last week. So, as always, to anybody that's got that gear that they have been wanting, and you done saved up your twos and fuse, and you finally got it, I'm so happy for you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you're having a good time with it. And for 149 and in stock right now, going over the perfect circuit. Why not? Dive in. Get you one. Might want to get two. I'm just saying, hey. I ain't gonna judge you. John G. John G TV. <laughs>
Yeah, you see, you see, see, you 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 see, you